and, in her panic, began to pull the body downward. Some plaster and cement fell on her face, but the body could not be set free. It never occurred to her that had she managed to free it, the heavy ceiling fan, which was from an era when a lot of iron went into those things, would have crushed them both anyway. Dilip's choice wasn't something that the circumstances or my understanding of them added up to. To say that he was a writer is not to say much, for the label is a problematic one. By the time of his suicide, Dilip had written a lot in both English and Hindi, although none of it was published. He had started writing when he was twenty-three. His initial outpourings were in the form of poems, and the only people who ever read or heard those were his close friends, who did so only reluctantly, 